Are you a narc? Are you wearing a wire man? All right, I don't smoke weed, all right? It's legal in my area. I have nothing against it. It's just not for me. But I do appreciate stoner humor. Cheech and Chong, Harold and Kumar, Jay and Silent Bob. You don't have to smoke weed to get swept up in their antics. Funny is funny. Okay, maybe a little funnier on weed. I did watch Ghost Rider on three Apple Teenies once, so I do get it. Nick Cage didn't have the only skull on fire that night, I'll tell you that. Grab a bag of Cheetos and your favorite bong. This is Half Baked. You're high right now, aren't you? First, a literal trip down memory lane. Meet Thurgood, Brian, Scarface, and Kenny on the day they try their first joint. Their experience is, shall we say, epic. We was told up! That is a big candy bar. I haven't been so thirsty. They grow up into responsible, well-off adults. Well, not well-off, but barely adult. Um, they grow up. Thurgood is now played by Dave Chappelle. Scarface, now played by Guillermo Diaz. Jim Brewer as Brian and Harlan Williams as Kenny. Okay, they're not captains of industry, but they lead simple, happy lives. They get their weed from places called bodegas. Say it with me, bodegas. They still get stoned together, and after that... Yo, who's our munchies tonight, yo? Get some oh, sour cream and onion chips. With some dip, man. Some beef jerky. Get some hot dogs, ice cream, and cream crackers. Crackers, and lunch, and lunch, and lunch, and lunch, and lunch, that is half my grocery list. And... Bunions. Are you sure you're not stoned? You want a Twinkie? Kenny goes out to grab more snacks when he comes across an unattended police horse. I'm all out of food. You ate it all. I'm no veterinarian, but that is not horse food. The horse dies. Oh. Uh -huh. I just gave him some candy and some chips and some pink popcorn and some bunions. Turns out it was diabetic, and feeding him all that junk food killed it. Kenny is arrested as a cop killer and goes to prison. Bail is set at $100,000. This all happened in an evening. I know you don't bail people out of prison when they've already been convicted and sentenced. Just go with it, man. Hey, Kenny! His buddies are clueless on how to get him out. While visiting Kenny, Thurgood meets Mary Jane Potman. That is her name. Played by Rachel True. With a name like that, of course Thurgood is immediately attracted to her. She is hotter than his last girlfriend, Chiba Smith. You can call me anytime you want. Maybe. Maybe is an acceptable answer. Oh, and she's severely anti-weed. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? I got some booty. I got some booty. I got some booty. Thurgood is a janitor at a genetic research lab, and one day a favor is paid in a handful of genetically modified superweed. Little something for your troubles. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks, I'll take the Bitcoin. Of course, they try out the new superweed, and things get out of hand. Let's go check in on Kenny, huh? You're not a fish. You're a man. <laughs> Since this weed is so bomb, they decide to sell it and raise money to bail Kenny out of prison. But they have to hurry. Kenny's in danger of losing his cherry. To Nasty Nate, played by Rick Demas. I'm somebody's bitch! Remember when prison rape was comedy gold? Who am I kidding? I think it still is. They steal more of the weed and business is booming. And we meet all kinds of weed smoking cameos. Hell, back in the 60s, you were smoking shit on the street. I don't know which one of these categories we fall into, but I'll tell you this. We ain't no goddamn potheads. Hmm. Shit. Stop that. I told you I don't smoke weed. Oh, and Mary Jane finds out about their dealing and breaks it off. But Thurgood loves her and wants to be with her, so he goes to meetings to get sober. I'm here today because I'm addicted to marijuana. Marijuana is not a drug. I used to suck dick for coke. I seen them! Think about that the next time you watch Full House. But this also catches the eye of the local drug lord, Samson, when they start cutting into his business. He threatens to kill our heroes unless they start paying him their profits. And to drive the point home, he kills their dog. Anyone else hear police radio outside? 
I'm not paranoid or anything. What was that? Easier said than done. Brian and Scarface are buying frivolous things. For four hundred dollars, I got Jerry Garcia in a pouch, man. They need more weed, but they get busted when they try to steal more. <laughs> but the cops are more interested in Samson, not these potheads. They agree to wear a wire and set up Samson so he'll take the rap. The boys smoke a doobie to loosen things up before the sting, but unfortunately they wind up hotboxing their backup. You thirsty? The game is up and the really good shit hits the fan. Let's beat these bitches! Put it down! You win. I'm gonna take your little Mexican friend with me. Hey, he can walk. I'm Cuban B. Yes, Cuban B. Cherry friends. We need you. When all is lost, Deus Ex Ghost of Jerry Garcia saves the day. Peace. Kenny is out of jail. Thurgood gives up weed and gets the girl. That was half baked, dude. Half-Baked made $17 million on an $8 million budget. While ignored by the critics initially, it's since gained a cult following. I guess we just delayed that reaction too. Kenny's prison subplot was diverting and funny without taking away from the main story, and actually provided the ticking clock element to drive our heroes forward. And things get interesting when the Squirrel Master, played by Tommy Chong, literally saves his ass. Thurgood's romance was also charming and funny. Dating in New York is surprisingly inexpensive. Marijuana is terrible. It's a gateway drug. Mary Jane's holier-than-thou attitude on weed was a little condescending at times, but she did set a goal for Thurgood to aspire to. What? Oh my! But you just don't do that to ice cream. Thurgood loves weed, but loves Mary Jane even more. That's sweet. I give it a year before they're both token up. The movie is silly. The story is pure fantasy, the characters are cartoon caricatures, and the resolution is beyond insane. And I fucking love this movie. You can't expect anything here to have much depth, because it would just be wasted. Wasted, get it? Our core group may be stoners, but they really care about each other. It's more than bonding over weed, they're like a family that smokes weed. The entire plot is driven by them banding together when one of their own is in trouble. Okay, it takes them a little while to gain momentum, but they're pretty industrious once they do. Samson may be the villain on the surface, but actually it's drug dependence. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's totally Samson. Clarence Williams was hysterical. The movie is silly and over the top. I know weed doesn't make you fly, it's metaphorical, okay? Dave Chappelle does a dual role as Thurgood and as rapper Sir Smokes a lot. With a name like that, he's obviously one of their bigger customers. He's not here for very long, but he's hilarious. Doctor said I need a bacchiotomy. Jim Brewer mostly plays a familiar persona. I actually think he's like this in real life. With a group of stoners, you should have at least one character actually behave like the stereotypical pothead. Guillermo Diaz as Scarface is the hothead of the group. I actually think he needs to smoke more. Kenny is probably the most good-natured and the one who would do the least well in prison. Like I said, the story and the plot are full of holes, probably to let all the smoke out. The plot is pretty thin, and it's also padded with hilarious and often insane tangents. It doesn't have to make too much sense. Don't think about it too much. Just go with it the way these guys do. Real world logic doesn't apply here. This is a fantasy world. Instead of hobbits and dragons, you get stoners and flying dogs. Half-Baked is a 4 out of 5. It's fun, it's dopey, and it's literally turn your brain off and enjoy entertainment. The characters are likable, ranging from goofy to deranged. This movie doesn't need an Oscar, they'd probably just wind up turning it into a pipe. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and subscribe. Or not, no pressure. Oh, and I have no idea what the algorithm is doing to me, so when I put another video out, clicking that bell will let you know when I do. This is The Newbie, and as always, thanks for watching. I can't lie to you, this is an Atkins bar, and it's fucking disgusting.